Welcome to CCTV Signal Technologies at the Spy Geeks by Dave Norton. You may ask, why does it make a difference how the signal is transmitted? Well, the answer is that it will affect the amount of money you pay for a system and the quality of the video of your system. There are two types of signal technologies used with a closed circuit TV system analog and digital. The camera and the recording compatibility determine the type of signal that is transmitted. All cameras require a power supply to transport the signal. Therefore, all technologies require a power source. Signals are transmitted as analog and digital through cables and wirelessly through the airwaves. Radio station transmissions are a good example of how a true analog system works. Cell phones, on the other hand, are a good example of how true digital transmission works. Analog and digital signals are often used in combination on the same CCTV system. Analog systems consist of a camera with a CCD image processor. They transmit a signal to a DVR and TV lines. A CMOS camera uh, does the same by transmitting an analog signal to a DVR. Both a CMOS and a CCD image tester can be used for an analog system. Digital transmissions are adapted into analog signals transmitting from cameras to the DVR or an NVR. IP cameras use CMOS image sensors. The higher the resolution, the higher the pixelation. The higher the resolution and the pixelation, the more bandwidth and is required and the higher quality of picture that you're going to get. Generally speaking, they are more expensive than an analog system. There are three kinds of cable that are used to transmit the signals. You have fiber optic, coaxial, and also an Ethernet cable, Cat5 and Cat6 cables. Fiber optic cables are used to deliver digital signals to homes and businesses. Most structures have coaxial cables, which is an older type of uh, cable used, and newer homes are, have Ethernet cables. The Ethernet cable will transmit analog an analog system, but they are mainly used for digital signals. Ethernet cables provide many more options than a coaxial cable does. RG59 coaxial cable is commonly used in the installation of wired analog systems. This cable consists of an electrical wire for power and a wire for signal transmission. Analog transmission allows only for one event to be transmitted at a time. Three wired cables are available to send audio video through the same cable. Otherwise, to have audio and video, you would have to run a additional wire. New technologies are constantly being developed and someday it might be possible to have multiple digital transmissions between the camera and the DVR. The Ethernet cable is a Cat5, Cat5e, or Cat6 are designed for digital transmission of data. The difference between the different cats is the transmission speed of the data. Cat5 will handle 10 100 megabytes per second as fast Ethernet at up to 100 megahertz bandwidth. Cat6 handles 10 gigabyte Ethernet at 250 megahertz much faster than a Cat5. Ethernet cable transports pixel resolution audio data power and camera commands all in one cable. Okay, there's certain wireless standards that have been set up uh, for wireless communications. Analog wireless camera radio frequency is designated by the manufacturer. These cameras transmit to a receiver that is connected to a monitor. The system is subjected to interference and other devices using similar frequencies. The frequency of digital wireless cameras are also determined by the manufacturer. So if you'd like to expand your system, you will have to take and purchase additional cameras from the original manufacturer. Because the signal is sent digitally, there is very little interference and the cameras are capable to document video, audio, and receive commands for pan, tilt, and zoom. Wi-Fi cameras are manufactured according to the standards of IEEE 802.11. This means that they will be compatible with appliances that are manufactured according to these standards. Even when there's a different manufacturer of a camera or of a recording device, Wi-Fi.org provides a Wi-Fi certification for manufacturers 
and have their products tested and certified to meet the Wi-Fi standards for easy connection to the network. To ensure seamless connection, I advise anyone considering a wireless IP camera to look for this certification or you may end up with connection problems. It is best to find a manufacturer and stay with them in order to avoid software issues of recording. This is a very common problem. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your, your stay here, your time visiting our website. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to visit. Hope this has been helpful and informative for you.